It's 9:39 Arizona this morning. We have been lucky enough to have Ann Geddes in the studio with us. She is really uh, the world's most one of the world's most well-respected and well-known baby photographers. Her iconic images are so recognizable, and you are in town for something really special. You're going to be speaking at a private dinner tonight for volunteers with the March of Dimes. Correct. Yes, I'm unveiling the image which we really unveiled this morning. Yes. Everyone had a bit of a sneak peek at it of a little baby called Alfred. Yeah. And we're looking at oh, Alfred right it, now, yeah. and we so appreciate you sticking around because yeah. so many of you have been on Facebook with us and Twitter as well asking so many questions about Angus. Was this a really difficult picture to photograph and how long did it take you? Not very long at all. Um, I photographed in four NICU units, neonatal intensive care yes. units around the world. Um, and it's a very, very special sort of environment. And so, you know, photographic crews really don't fit into that sort of environment. So we had to be very, very quick. Um, sure. And um, with little Alfred, really, I only had about five minutes with him. Um, <sighs> so I'm just like, please, please. Please stay asleep. Yes. And he did. Yeah, because you've got all these eyes boring into your back. You've got the families, you've got all the medical personnel, and it's like everyone's just willing this little baby to sleep. And he did. So well, was he was born thing. prematurely, eight weeks mm -hmm. early, which mm -hmm. is part of why you are yeah. teaming up with the March of Dimes. We talked a lot about that in our last hour. But what you've captured in this image, and what you capture in every image that we have seen of yours, is a tip that we're sharing with parents this morning who've tried to do this, and that's the importance of capturing the emotion, the feeling of that moment. How do you do that? Well, you know, first thing I'd say to people is don't try and do this sort of thing, like what I'm doing in a studio environment, because I've got a professional team and so on. But I can give you a few tips as to how to photograph your children at home. Um, and, you know, the first thing is have your camera around all the time, which everybody does now because we've got iPhones. Sure. Right? I don't take photographs on iPhones. In fact, and you've never taken a selfie. No, don't tell anyone I told you that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I have never. I've Do never over. Seen. Yeah. But um, look, you've just got to remember that your children grow so fast. And you're going to be look at the, looking at these images, um, you're going to know your children for longer as adults than you know as children. So you want to get an essence of them as a child. It's true. It yeah, really I mean, is true. you don't even think about that no, as a parent, don't. right? No, you don't. And you really want to capture these moments yeah. while they're available to yeah. you. When they were two years old and they didn't want to wear what you wanted them to wear, just let them wear whatever. You know, yeah. Because when you look at that photo 20 years later, you want to look back at this little two-year-old and get an essence of their character as well. Um, one of the really important things that I think is important anyway, and, and a lot of parents go, oh, no, I, should, I don't want to be in a photo, I don't want to, um, you know, I, I don't look so good and all this sort of thing. You've got to be in these images with your children mm. because your children will never remember you as being as young as you are. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because when they're older, they just think, oh, you were never young. You were, you know, you were always the same You're age. always you're that old yeah, mom. Yeah. And they'll want to look at you in the image with them when they were babies mm. and so they can mock you for what you're wearing for sure your <laughs> sure well, and i had my babies in the 80s so this is probably why i keep bringing this up well you didn't become a photographer until you were in your mid-20s and one of the no. things i read about you was that you would look at these pictures right that we all had as kids who mm. were propped up by these yes, horrible pillows a, and with this uh, horrible look on our face in between cries you know sunday best um yes no, uncomfortable you, yeah and i look like i don't have many photos of myself as a baby and i I look at the, the images, like the studio portraits, and you think, I wonder what it was like on that day, what we were like. I'm there with my sisters, you know, I've got four sisters. Um, but th there wasn't any essence of um, how we interacted with each other, any of our character, just anything. It's just very formal. So you don't want that, you know? You want to capture yeah. the, mo the emotion, the essence exactly. of that moment. You also yeah. say, shoot in the morning and be ready before the kids even wake up so they're well rested, right? Have everything ready mm. to go. I only photograph babies in the morning. I don't photograph in the afternoon and, and you know any mom with little ones would know we have this thing in Australia they're called the witching hour. Do you call it that here? You know, sure. Yeah. It's it really like that's a nice way of putting yeah, it. A here. little bit tedious <laughs> towards the afternoon. Babies are generally better in the morning because especially if they're breastfed you know mom's milk is richer if she's had a little bit of rest. Mind you if you've got a newborn at home that you know it, it takes a couple of months to settle down. So. Sure. Um, but just generally speaking, kids are better in the morning. You've got to get down to their level 
because that's the way they see the world. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, and I used to observe this for all of the years that I do portraiture. You know, if you watch little children on the street, they are really at knee height to everybody else and they're yeah. all looking at each other and all the little dogs, you know. It's kind Absolutely. of that little world that's happening down there that, you know, people just forget about. So get down low and to their level so you, you get their perspective. Um, keep the background simple. Work um, fast. Yeah. Oh, hello. Work fast yeah, because, you, you know, the fast. fussiness may come. Yeah, and don't say... Don't say one, two, three. Just click Just away. Go for it. And love yep. what you've got. Yeah, yep, exactly. Well, thank you. You're very Appreciate welcome. Appreciate this. And thank you so much for all you're doing for all babies around the world. Especially everybody talking about such loves, an important topic. Everybody loves March of Dimes. Um, and it's such a wonderful cause, and I'm just thrilled to be here. Well, we are elated that you're here as well. Thank you. Appreciate your time.